All right, 26. This one, I thought looked like a proliferating pilaris. Good, and this is uh, 26. Good, I'm just checking now to make sure that I'm not telling anything wrong. Yeah, it looks great for proliferating pilar cyst or proliferating pilar tumor or proliferating trichelemal tumor, whatever you like. It looks really busy and crazy, almost like a squamous cell carcinoma, but um, because it kind of looks infiltrative, but it's actually a fake infiltration. If you had the whole thing excised, you would see that in the middle it looks very complex, but at the, the edge, the periphery of the lesion, actually is pretty circumscribed. And in the uh, islands here, the cells are glassy, and if you look at individual islands, Sometimes it shows it better than others. You'll actually see what looks very similar to the lining of a pilar cyst. So, but instead of it being one big simple cyst, it's basically got all of these islands kind of growing into the middle. So it's basically thinking about like a pilar cyst that has kind of grown into itself in, in a very disorganized manner. Um, sometimes the, the pilar lining is very easy to see. Other times, like in this one, it's a little bit more nuanced and you have to kind of have some experience uh, appreciating it. And some people believe that all of these are actually squamous cell carcinomas. I do not hold to that view. I, I think you can see them in younger people. You can see them as a large deep nodule without connection to the epidermis, not the way a normal squamous cell carcinoma would grow. Certainly there are uh, rare cases that behave in a malignant fashion, but usually they have either infiltrative growth at the edge or really atypical cytologic features. Um, so yeah, this is, and here's another area where you can see that kind of that's a nice pilar lining where it doesn't have the granular layer and it abruptly transitions into this homogenized um, uh, dense keratin. Good. So proliferating pilar tumor and then